Shalom, brothers and sisters. So this morning, I just want to run through a small piece of Joshua chapter 1 with you and just discuss as we go. And I want to point out a few things for you that are important for you to take note of. So if we go to Joshua 1 from verse 1. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Okay, before I carry on. Twice here, they've referred to Moses as the servant, not the great prophet, not the deliverer of Israel, not the mighty man who led them, not the man who ascended the mountain and spoke with God, not the man with the shining face due to the afterglow of the glory of Most High. No, the servant. And this is God speaking. And it's not a derogatory term. It is an educational one. Jesus says those who want to be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven should be the least. It is a great thing to be a servant. I don't want to be known as the mighty evangelist or pastor or anything by the Lord. I want to be known as my good and faithful servant. What does a servant do? Everything his master desires. He seeks the best of his master. I serve at his discretion. I serve his good will. And that is what I seek most of all. And that is how we should live. And we should reassess the word servant. And we serve others. My desire in my heart is to serve the flock of my Lord that he has placed here for me to serve and look after because that is what he did he came down to earth and he served us now therefore arise go over this Jordan you and all this people to the land which I am giving to them the children of Israel now take note what this land is Especially now in a time when the whole world is saying they have no land. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses. Every place. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, all the way down to the mountain, all the way up, the whole of the Sinai, everything. As far as the great river the river Euphrates, grab a map, have a look. All the land of the Hittites and to the great sea towards the going down of the sun shall be your territory. It is a massive stretch of land from the Euphrates River all the way down to the ocean and south. It is huge. And today Israel is but a sliver or a fraction of of what is legally in the eyes of God, their land. And they have to fight for that. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. And the same is said of Jesus, the Holy Spirit with us all the time. We are blessed beyond comprehension be strong and of good courage for to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which i swore to their fathers to give them only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which moses my servant commanded you do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. The more time you spend in the word of God, day and in the night, the better it becomes for your soul for your life, for your outlook, for your mental thoughts, for how you handle stressful and difficult situations that come your way, 
the more you spend time with the Lord, Yada, intimacy, the more you face everything with God, the more you know what God has instructed and how we should live. Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. This is the manual. The more you study the manual, the more you understand the heart of God, the more you discover riches and amazing nuggets that he's hidden away for you, the more he blesses you, the more difficult it becomes for evil and demonic forces to intrude on your life because there is so much God there. Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. New Testament, behold, I send you a helper, a comforter, and he will be with you. The Holy Spirit, God with us right now, all the time, patiently, like a gentleman, just waiting for you to seek time with the Lord wherever you go. So the more time you spend, the more time you seek, the stronger you grow, the less things will phase you, the more you will be able to forge ahead and help and serve others. Seek Him first and everything else will fall into line. God bless. Shalom.